Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.4 again and this update is just amazing. It just keeps giving and we have a bunch of more new features that we found on iOS 15.4. Now initially I did a video with more than 20 new features of iOS 15.4 then I had about 10 more and today we have another 10 new features that are coming to iOS 15.4 and these are just all Awesome, and we really really needed some of these features that Apple has introduced with iOS 15.4 so overall this is a big big update coming really really soon and we also have a date for that for the release of iOS 15.4 to the public but first of all let's take a look at some of the big new features that are coming to iOS 15.4 all right first of all we're going to Safari and we're talking about extensions so Apple has introduced extensions on Safari with iOS 15 and now a pretty cool new feature if you tap right there on the AA button and you go to manage your extensions you will now have a search bar right there if you have a bunch of extensions installed and of course you need to quickly find one of those you can now search them right here without you having to go through the list you will have a very very useful search bar right there at the top another very very welcome change it's a slight change but it's really good on safari when you scroll right here now we have a seamless status bar right there at the top there used to be like a line here white line separating the status bar and of course the web page now it just looks like that it's seamless and it's really really good a really nice touch which actually used to be like this on the initial releases of ios 15 but then apple changed that and now that design is back and of course it looks much much better and this is new with safari as well you can see right here we have this little banner with the review button now what this does is that it shows you when an extension needs to actually have more permissions on safari so it will show you that banner right there so you can go ahead and review those permissions and allow them from there now this will most likely happen when you install a new extension and open safari you will get those banners right there with the name of the app and of course the review button to quickly go ahead and review the permissions that it requires directly from there as i've shown you on the previous video apple has added the scan text button on the notes app and also on the reminders app but it looks like it's on the mail app as well so if you go to the mail app and you start to write an email right here you can just tap on that little arrow and now you will have here a button that allows you to scan text directly from here so you want to input any text you can do that directly from the keyboard right here and of course you can even swipe up from here if you want to have like a full page and of course make it much much easier for you to scan the text that you need now this is new as well and this is very very useful i don't really know why apple didn't add this feature before on ios because this used to be really really annoying now i have this right here the screenshot from ios beta on reddit because i didn't have any apps to update and i didn't get this myself so what this is basically when you're trying to update your apps when connected to your cellular data and of course the size of the apps is quite big it will ask you right here if you want to actually download them or leave them later on wi-fi but previously before i was 15.4 let's say you had like five apps to, to download or to, to actually update if you try to update them it would show you a pop-up like this for each of those apps separately that's really really annoying if you have a bunch of apps let's say maybe like 10 or even more that would be really really annoying and now you get this only once you can see right here what it says update apps using data roaming of course you can tap on download or later on the wi-fi but you will have just one tap and this is a much much needed feature that has come to ios 15.4 of course this will be very very welcome if you ever had the chance to update your apps like that you know that's pretty annoying moving on to the settings app and when you go to passwords right here you will have your security recommendations so if you go to one of those and you see the recommendation right here so here i have basically something that i have set here for apple.com just to try this you will go here and you will see your security recommendations now with ios 15.4 you can actually dismiss those by using that x button right there you can see 
hide this recommendation you can go ahead and hide this from here and it won't show up right here under your security recommendations at all so right here we'll now have also a button for hidden recommendations and you can see all of them directly from here and of course even reset those hidden security recommendations pretty useful of course if you use this section of the settings app for your passwords and you have a bunch of those this will be much much useful there is also a change on the stocks app as well if you go to the stocks and you go to the news right here you can see that now the design has changed you will have these like card designs right here that looks something like the medium widgets that you have on your home screen but they look much much better than they used to look before of course a much cleaner design and makes it look that much better and this is also new if you use apple music which i don't actually when you go to a playlist now the name of the playlist will be sticky right there at the top so you move through the playlist the name of the playlist won't be hidden now a lot of times you might even forget in which playlist you're on but now you will have the name right there at the top all the time and another new feature with apple music when you 3d touch on the music app right here you will have now new options now we had here play most recent i did show you this feature this is also new with ios 15.4 but now you will also get a button to play your station so if you use apple music and you're subscribed of course you will get this button right here just under the play most recent you will get a button to play your station and also on the news app if you go to the news app and you go to the audio section now you will find here a new section called editors picks you can go ahead and right here choose any of these this is new that has been added with ios 15.4 now let's talk a bit about battery and performance before we move to the release date of ios 15.4 which actually has been revealed and i believe that will be the date that we will get ios 15.4 released to the public so going to battery right here you will see that the battery is actually quite good not the best ever of course it's beta one and it has quite a lot of changes so you can expect this beta not to have great battery as like maybe you would have on ios 15.3 which didn't have any like big new features and changes it just had some minor fixes but overall i'm satisfied with the battery life that i get on beta 1 of ios 15.4 it's again it's not the best ever but it's actually not that bad at all and what i've experienced on performance the ios 15.4 is quite good i've experienced some of the third party apps lagging sometimes maybe that's due to the apps to need needing to be updated for ios 15.4 but overall the performance is quite good i don't have like any like major bugs or glitches that i have encountered with ios 15.4 of course this will be different on different devices and based of course what you have on your device but overall battery life and also performance based on the fact that this is beta 1 is quite good and of course i would recommend if you have a device maybe that you don't use daily i would recommend you to install this of course the public beta if you want to try out all the new features but when will this update come out to the public let's talk about that because we have a guess here and of course a date when we can get ios 15.4 released to the public so as i've mentioned on my previous videos ios 15.4 should come out to the public the same day as the next apple event will happen and that of course will happen in march and now we have a report here from mark grumman which is of course a very very trusted source when it comes to apple related stuff and according to him apple is planning to hold a virtual event on tuesday march 8th and i believe that's also the date when we can expect ios 15.4 to be released to the public of course on that event apple is expected to release a new iphone se and also new ipad air models so i expect apple to also release this update that day and of course the new devices should come out with ios 15.4 pre-installed now right now we're on beta 1 and you can expect to see beta 2 probably tomorrow or wednesday one of these days we can expect apple to release the second beta of ios 15.4 and i'm actually really excited to see what apple will bring and if it will have also a bunch of new features or not so that's basically it for this video guys make sure to subscribe if you want to be updated with the latest news regarding the latest softwares by apple and of course leave a like on this video i'll see you on the next one